Hello, happy Sunday to everybody. Happy Sunday afternoon to be politically correct. Y'all know where I'm at. I'm at home. I'm relaxing. I'm doing videos. I'm cooking. Got to give my dogs a bath in a few minutes. But continue to subscribe to me and definitely like my videos and share them. But we get back into the choir again. Yes, when I have time, I like to read up on things. I like to uh, rush my brain into different subjects. But right now, we're going to talk about Brad Pitt and his girlfriend back in the day, actress Juliette Lewis. And yes, that's the one I'm talking about, Juliette Lewis. Uh, in the 90s, he was dating her, meaning Brad Pitt. And we're going to talk about Scientology, okay? Scientology is considered to be a cult type of religion. They practice the worship of Satan and all that goes. Okay, and throughout my video, if you didn't know a peep game, I'm going to show you a lot of Scientology practicers. Okay, black, white, Asian, and you just take it for what it is and just know, you heard it from me, do your own research, and you keep repping these people, okay? That's all I'm going to say there, all right? Because a mind is a terrible thing to waste. If you want to know something, do your own research. Don't let other people try to fill your head with stuff, okay? Because they would do it. If you're not abreast about a lot of things that may interest you or people try to get you in tune with certain things that you're not really aware of and you're just going on what they say, then, you know, you're not doing your due diligence. So I press upon you to do your due diligence if you really want to know about Scientology and for yourself. You know, it's dealt on, like I said, occult practices. It's a lot of rumen, uh, numerology based learning, very scientific. And, you know, they get down with them hinge stones and all that kind of stuff. And they have Scientology uh, churches all the way around in the 52 states. Okay. If you don't believe me, check out. Check it out. Okay. But we're going to just focus on what the Inquirer magazine is talking about. Allegedly. You know what I'm saying? Because basically, we all just give our opinions. We all just give speculation. But until we do our research and those that are here on my channel, I drop some golden nuggets sometimes. It's up to you to catch it though. All right, it's up to you to have ears to hear and eyes to see. All right, but uh, yeah, it says as a headliner, Brad's brush with Scientology depth. Okay, not my words, his words. Like I told you what it was based on. I already said it, what the practice is all about. I already gave it to you, and I'm showing you in a nutshell who all practice. Who all practice in that field, okay? But anyway, let's go on into the story here. It says Brad Pitt narrowly escaped death after getting entangled in Scientology and undertaking one of their most grueling courses. A former church member has claimed. Okay, they got courses. It's kind of sound like the 33rd degree. Uh, masonry. Okay, the Masons. Yeah, do your due diligence on that. Research that. Find out who all is involved in that. Okay. Black, white, Asian, Indian, um, hell, any, any other religion I missed out there, okay? Pretty much every culture pretty much practice in different religions. And a lot of them, more than you know, practice in Scientology and uh, Satanistic type of behavior with their rituals and everything. You don't have to uh, trust me about it. Go on and research it for yourself, okay? Uh, like I said, if you don't... If you're not based and grounded in something, you're going to find a favor fine. All right. All right. Don't want to uh, have to have anything crawl in. Okay. That's unwanted. But going back to the article, it says that once upon a time in Hollywood, Star was reportedly stuck into the sci-fi sci religion, Scientology, science fiction. Okay. However you want to deal with it. That's my pun intended. Not in this article. But it says sci-fi religion by his ex-girlfriend, Juliette Lewis. I already showed y'all a picture of her. She kind of looked going, like she's going insane. And, okay. And completed two of their low-level courses in 1991 and 1993. Okay. But the Scientology defector 
Samantha Domingo told how Brad also endured their purification rundown, a highly controversial detox technique that claims to help people sweat out their toxins. Yeah. And if you don't believe it, uh, it's a show on YouTube uh, for those who hear, hear for those who uh, CC. It's called As It Lays. Uh, I forgot the man's name of it. Not really important. Just Google him. Uh, it's uh, As It Lays. I think, uh, what's her name? The Kardashian mama. Chris Jenner was on there giving her little interview. Y'all have to go see it for yourselves and get your own interpretation and your own edification about what you were looking at and what you were seeing. Okay? But everybody that's on that show has been tapped and they pretty much are given their format or how they get down. Always in plain sight. Those who have eyes to see. Those who have ears to listen. Okay? But that's, that's their little talk show forum where they go on basically on As It's Laid. They have this uh, man sitting in a little suit, you know, playing face. It's kind of like one of the Matrix men on The Matrix that was trying to attack Keno Reeves and whatnot and destroy him. He was sitting out, you know, in his little tuxedo and he calls his guest subjects. Okay. And then he just go on and... Um, what do you call it? Uh, just answer, ask, have them answer certain questions off a cue card or an index card. But like I said, it's an experience. You have to go and look at it for yourself. All right. And then come back and have a conversation with me. All right. Okay. But going back to this, uh, and it's a shame they be saying defect. Defect is like you don't, you know, you're an assassin or something and, and, and you're a part of the government. Then you want to swap up and go, uh, against the government and doing some stuff. You know what I'm saying? Like them assassin movies we be looking at on TV. That's a defect. I ain't never heard a church member be called a defector. But anyway, that's how they get down. There's their language, not mine. It goes in an article saying, but Scientology defectors, Samantha Domingo told how Brad also endured their purification rundown, a highly controversial detox technique that claims to help people sweat out their toxins. Oh yeah, I, I knew what I was going with that. Uh, if you go to that um, website I told you, as it lays, um, you're going to see an interview done with Demi Moore. And she was talking about exactly in a nutshell about this uh, sweat box or sweating out, you know, toxins and stuff of that nature. She's a part of that clique too, a part of this clique as well. All right. But anyway, Juliet got in trouble at the time because she got back into drugs. Wonder why. Okay, Samantha told the National Enquirer she was in my course group but refused to study. Meanwhile, she said Brad was spending hours a day on the grueling conditions. Brad was doing that purification rundown. He was in the sweat box, she said. It's a program where they basically load you up with vitamins and you sit in a sauna and sweat for five hours a day. Brad, now sober has previously admitted to a problem with alcohol and was likely doing the program to help with that, doing a, a rundown. And then they have, you know, like little, they have a picture of him and Juliet, um, how they say, you know, I guess in a relationship and, you know, pretty much saying what they endured. And they say he quits dangerous detox session in the nick of time because I guess he was going to try to kill over, you know what I'm saying? Then it says the 55-year-old actor is no longer religious. Well, when you have a, a bout with this type of practice, I guess you wouldn't be anymore. And then um, he was, uh, when he was a little boy, it read in the article that actually his uh, parents were very devout Christians. And you know, when you get somebody hammered a lot of stuff in your head, you are going to get rebellious when you can. And you're going to seek out other types of religion and release releases that you can have some calmness in your life in your uh mind you know so you will be able to live a healthy life but going back to the article it says scientologists stay inside suffocating sweat lodges for hours a day for up to five weeks Scient scientists have widely debunked the idea that humans can remove remove the body's impurities by sweating them out okay 
And that's Sam Domingo, you know, she was a defect and she was just telling it all. She let it all hang out. Like, they do this to us, they do that to us. And, whoo, you would be surprised who's the bring leader of it all. And who all come in now that are celebrities and everything. And, and they just worship this practice and they just get down and now these rituals and this, that, and the third. Yes, that's what they were saying. But getting back to the article, it says a Scientology spokesperson denied Samantha's account calling it false claims. Ex-Scientologists have claimed purification rundowns have left them weak and unable to complete everyday tasks, such as housework. Okay, in 1991, the parents of Christopher Arbuckle, who died at age 25, filed a suit that blamed the Church of Scientology, led by David Miscavige, for his death. The case was reportedly settled out of court. Brad, a father to six with his ex-wife Angelina Jolie was spared further harm because he doesn't appear to have completed the course and bailed on the cult-like organization shortly, shortly afterwards. They weren't able to keep Brad, noted Samantha. He left, okay? Now 55, Brad grew up in a strict Christian household but has since renounced religion. And, you know, I can say, yeah, yeah, you probably scared on all fronts because you can't go dip and dab in cult activity practices, okay? People start doing some strange things for some change. People start getting into practices that they wouldn't ordinarily get to unless they were greedy for the money, okay? What they say, money's the root of all evil? Yes, it is. Money is just a, a, a resource, but if you come to worship that money or those dollar bills, that power, prestige, all of that is just considered greed, greed people. And that's basically what we're saying. Anything, too much of anything can destroy everything. You get where I'm going? That's with food. That's with uh, clothing, apparel. There's with houses, cars. Anything. It's almost like you're idolizing what your desires that you want fulfilled. And then once you've gotten everything, what's left? More greed to attain, right? Until you don't monopolize everything and everyone. And you're the sole person on the chessboard. But then after that, what else, what else is there? Nothing, right? Because you don't conquer everything. Okay? But the essence of life itself, I'm guessing. That's all I had for that story, y'all. Really cute, short, and sweet, and kind of informative for those who want to catch, you know, um, some of the dialogue I was giving you. But peace and blessings to you all. I am a Christ follower. I believe in the Lord Jesus Christ. Yes, I do. And I don't open myself up to a lot of things that I know is against my practices. I can't tell y'all what to practice practice or any of that but i can tell you you better get with something that's good good meaning you're there for the love of everybody for everybody to succeed okay in life or in the next life you don't have no animosity to no one you don't try to tear people down you know what i'm saying um you try to uplift people give them advice especially if you went through something help them along give them something to think about and maybe they can make a different decision that they probably wouldn't have made unless they bumped into you Okay, everything ain't about the dollar. It's not. Each person's success is totally different from the next person's success. We all depend on money. I strictly depend, uh, depend on it for food, shelter, and clothing. That's pretty much it. I ain't trying to have no bank account that's out this world. I ain't trying to leave no money uh, astronomical for my daughter or for anybody, okay? This life is to be enjoyed and to respect people and to love on people, okay? That's all it is. And when you see, when you see somebody acting out their character, their demeanor, and they're doing it just for show, then you have to call them on that because there's plenty of different avenues you can do to make money. You see what I'm saying? You don't have to come out your character. You don't have to show us this ugly, vengeful side of you all the time. And then you're going to call yourself, well, I'm going to do it by everybody. Oh, I got this. You don't have this. You know, but you do a lot of things. You do a lot of things that I'm not going to compromise on, that I'm not going to be showing myself on. You know, I'm not going to act out my character. I'm not going to act out my demeanor to get that dollar. 
So that's what y'all need to think about. Especially when y'all following some of these people and praising them and taking up for them when they, you know in your heart they're doing some crazy things for some change. And it ain't uh, it ain't sane. It ain't sane. It's sinful. And I, I commend Brad for just breaking out, out of yeah, break out of everything. Get your mind together and see, have some peace in your mind and then see what's right for you. You know what I'm saying? Analog, analog everything. Okay, dissect everything and then put it back together and see what you come up with. Okay, creation of life is only one person. One person, the giver and taker of life. I can't throw it at y'all, but all I can say is you better have your soul saved. Okay, you better start believing in good, doing good, presenting good. Okay, because we're not all here to be on this earth. We People are passing every day. And some of them are passing, you know, away unexpectedly, you know, just dropping dead, you know. And if the government not going to help us, especially with this control of this food. Did y'all hear lately that they actually had in the catalog, it's been going around, uh, Roundup bug spray coming up in some of uh, General Mills or Kellogg's cereal products. Check it out. I'm sure it's, it's trending, okay? It's trending. That's not the first time I saw it, but my cousin sent it to me, but I... You know, I acknowledged it and took it for what it was. But I'm like, that's not the first time that came around. Our government is not doing a very good job in protecting us. So we got to protect ourselves. And we definitely got to pray over our food. Okay? Those who prepare it and those who grow it. All right? Uh, and that's all I got, y'all. Y'all be blessed. I don't know if I'm going to come back today with another video. But it just depends on what may come over my feed. And like I said, I got to get a puppies a bath. And Lord have mercy. They are a trip. And by the time I finish with them... It's just like running around here with two twin kids, okay? And you're trying to get one of them, babe, while the other one's jumping on you. And then the other one don't want to take a bath. And you got to go get them from under the bed. And they snapping. And, ah, oh, it's just a whole thing. But anyway, them my, them my, my, uh, what do you call that? Them my problems. I ain't your problem. They ain't y'all problem. Okay, but y'all enjoy y'all afternoon. If I don't get back with you, you know, I'll come back Monday trying to tell y'all something. Trying to enlighten y'all. Trying to make y'all cackle. Because laughter is good for the soul and it gives off these endorphins uh, that fights off depression and anxiety that y'all can definitely get in tune with. Okay, so y'all definitely be good to yourselves. Be good. And I'll talk to you soon for something. Bye.